very easy, Jacob. It's communism, and it's the Soviet Union all over again. Is this an unholy alliance, or are you... Uh, <laughs> no, Jazz is for staying, and I'm for leaving. <laughs> I don't know, I find that children are naturally very left-wing anyway, aren't they? Not mine. Uh, <laughs> you know, they all go through the vegetarian phase. Well, uh, well mine's perhaps a bit young, yeah. but mine are currently staunch, staunch Tories and staunch Brexiteers. Really? Yeah. My son can name all of the... Uh, better than me, I forgot about Malta and Luxembourg. He can name all of the states in Europe. They were doing it at school. Uh, Propaganda uh, in our uh, education yes, system. Yes, yes, yes. Well, here we are in battle, the site of the Battle of Hastings. I think the decision we're making on the 23rd of June is as important as that which was made on the 14th of October 1066, that either our country is going to be a small part of the United States of Europe, or we're going to be an independent, self-governing, democratic nation. This is where Harold took his arrow in his eye. Yes. And so if we leave, what happens to David Cameron? Is he taken, has he basically taken a fatal arrow to the eye? No, no, I think he's got very good eye protectors <laughs> on. I think he is safe and shielded from Fashion arrows. Eye protectors. I think that he has to go. I think he won't survive it. He will not survive what, as far as I'm concerned, will cause the greatest upturning of the apple cart. How do you think you might vote in the European referendum then? Every Are time you torn? I every time I see my grandchildren, I feel I must vote for them. That's uh, exactly how I feel about yeah, my children. And that's, I think, what I would do, and I think that means stay, stay in. Stay in. I, I, I am by nature a little Englander, <laughs> surprisingly <laughs> enough. The people who want to stay in Europe are the, the people who run big businesses, who are making money out of it, the commissioners, who are going to have huge salaries, I mean not salary, pensions compared to the likes of us. Where I live, the hospitals wouldn't be able to run if it weren't for migrants, is the truth. There would be no staff where in do them. You live? I live in Birmingham. Well, well we live in Broadstairs, Kent. Oh. And, nice. uh, is it nice there? Broadstairs <laughs> is a lovely place, but yeah. there's not much employment there. Yeah. And what there is, has been taken over by immigrants. <laughs> I've only been an MP for a year. I have literally never, ever had anyone, and I get thousands of pieces of casework every month, had a case where Europe stopped me helping someone, if, ever. If it relates to a piece of EU regulation, then there's but, but, absolutely well, nothing you can do. Well, obviously, EU regulation is not affecting the people where I live, except uh, in the way that we exp export all of our no, the cars good. from the car industry that keeps everybody where I work. Ah, oh, yes, but um, you know that we've got a much larger um, surplus and indeed sales of cars outside the European Not Union the than we have to the European Union, in, in the country as a whole. People who want to remain are less certain that they're in that camp, they are less fervent in their response to you. But it's hard to motivate people by saying um, this organisation is pretty awful, it needs to be fundamentally reformed, but we'd better but stay in it because we're so useless that we can't survive outside, which is basically the Prime Minister's <laughs> argument. Followed up with by, oh, and if we don't, we'll have the Third World War. And it, uh, to be it, fair, I have to say, everyone should again, like Hitler, put the war down. <laughs> Stop talking about the war. Don't mention the war. You get this nice, nice light Mr Whippy ice cream. I think, I think out. You think out? And then I think, oh, oh, hang on a minute. It's about the, the, it's, what about the it's about that, the, isn't it? We're, we're all out here, just, all right. just are, really. Just are. Just are. See what it's like on the other side, isn't it, really? Absolutely, oh, just, just yeah. sort of like yeah. as an experiment. Wouldn't Have a go, heroes. Yeah. Manage exactly. Essentially, I'll get, a, I'll get a Euro go. European Union we will. tattoo if you get a leave tattoo. <laughs> what, let's, you know, if you, you're that's so that's committed that's to the cause. That's putting me on the spot. Let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's pop a, a, a leave EU yeah, tattoo we'll on. <laughs> I think we survived two world wars, actually more than that, and did quite well, so I think we could go, continue to do the same. <laughs> I hope pleasure. you're a total failure. <laughs> <laughs>
and uh, look forward to seeing you come round to our point of view. Oh. Yeah. Hello, good afternoon. I haven't really voted a lot, but I don't no, think it's too bad the fact that we're in the EU. I don't really understand. No. You don't really understand? No, we're only like 22 and 19. I didn't get the impression they were necessarily going to vote. No, I don't think they are going to vote. No. We're not playing croquet. Yes. And why is it that the Prime Minister, a man you fall behind, you trust him, I've, I've watched you stand up for his economic plans, yet you, he's so worried about our economy, and on this, you can't back him? I can't back him, and I think his position has become absurd. That, and um, untenable, potentially. Um, well, absurd over Europe, that uh, he said that um, he wouldn't rule anything out, and now he's saying it'll lead to th Third World War. You've got a bit of slice <laughs> on it, I think. <laughs> I can't quite... I'll see if I can get across, shake by the hand. Hello. Everybody in the Leave campaign so far has said, yeah, we're going to have a bit of a crappy time in our economy for a little while. It will be tough in our economy. Who knows for how long? You know, the... Ve the, the I don't think everyone said that at all. I don't. Lots I Lots and lots of them have. There's Are you willing of, to take been, that risk? There's been a lot of scaremongering. I think the economy will be stronger because we currently are in a customs union, not a free trade area. So but there are barriers to trade, there are very high that? regulations. I think that lots of good economists think that too. But it's not just me on my own. Lots of our allies, lots and lots of the head of the Bank of England. But the, the head of the Bank of England is a Canadian politician who has now politicised the Bank of England for his own personal political maybe agenda. Maybe he thinks it's better for the UK. And maybe uh, it's his job to say what's better for the UK. Why body. do you think they hate England, George Osborne and uh, David Cameron? Why, do they, why aren't they patriots? Well, I think they have decided that they want to win. They want, it's about getting their own way. They think that they know what's best. You're saying for us. that they want the the prime minister of this country wants what is not best for this country. Yes, You're I saying do he's say that. not a patriot. No, I'm not saying he's not a patriot. I'm saying that he does not want what is best for the country. He has bungled Europe. He bungled his renegotiation, and he's now desperate and threatening us with world wars and a plague of frogs and locusts <laughs> and so on. And you're laughing because it's laughable. I mean, you know, and the prime minister's got himself in a position where people laugh at his views on Europe, and that's a bit sad, actually. We could fall down this hill together. Well, you see, we're taking a risk here. But we're in control of our risk. Look at this wobbly bridge. But we don't mind because we're happy to take risks that we've thought but through. But I wouldn't let my children control. take this same risk, Jacob. I wouldn't let my children stand so here. You, so I'm doing, you, so I do what I do for them. So you view the United Kingdom as a child to the European <laughs> Commission. Well, I think our country's pretty grown up. <laughs>